Hello everyone, let's discuss the differences between primitive recursive and recursive functions. First, let's recall the class of primitive recursive functions. Recall that we defined the class of primitive recursive functions, which we will denote PR, as the smallest class of partial functions f from the natural numbers to the k to the natural numbers, containing the basic functions and closed under substitution and recursion. So additional closure under minimization is what distinguishes the class of primitive recursive functions from the possibly wider class of just recursive functions. Now, let's state a theorem for primitive recursive functions. All primitive recursive functions are total functions. Next, let's discuss a quick lemma for primitive recursive functions. There is a decidable set S, a subset of the natural numbers, such that for every n in S, phi sub n of x is a primitive recursive function, and for every primitive recursive function f, there is some n in S, such that f is equal to phi sub n of x. Then, let's define eventually dominating functions. Given functions f and g from the natural numbers to the natural numbers, let us say that g eventually dominates f if there is some n in the natural numbers such that f of m is less than g of m for all m greater than or equal to n. We write f is less than star g. Following on, let's mention a result for eventually dominating functions. Given any sequence fn of functions from the natural numbers to the natural numbers, there's a function g from the natural numbers to the natural numbers such that fn is less than star g for each n. Now, let's discuss how primitive recursive functions relate to eventually dominating functions. There is a total function g from natural numbers to the natural numbers, such that f is less than star g for every primitive recursive function f. An example of which is the Ackermann function, which is the computable function defined to be fn is equal to a n n, where a goes from natural numbers to natural numbers, and is a total function defined by a of m n is equal to n plus 1, if m equals 0, a of m n is equal to a of m minus 1, 1, if m is greater than 0 and n equals 0, and a of m n is equal to a of m minus 1, a of m m minus 1, if m is greater than 0 and n is greater than 0. And as ever, thank you for watching.